From Studio 3C in Rockefeller Center, this is News 4 New York. Welcome back. There were a lot of big winners at last night's Academy Awards ceremony, and some of them didn't even walk away with the statue. We are talking about the glitz, glamour, and, of course, the Oscar fashions. And I love having you here, Thank Janice. You. Good to we be have here. two guests here to help us break down some of the top styles of the night. Joining us now is Gretchen Jones, designer and season eight winner of Project Runway, and Joey Healy, celebrity eyebrow stylist, professional makeup artist, and licensed esthetician. And many of you may have seen him on The Real Housewives of New York. Yes. So thank you both so much for coming in. Thank Thanks you for, for having, having us. us. Of course, a lot of the fun of last night is the red carpet. In fact, I think they extended the time just so people could enjoy it. The was red a carpet very long work. red carpet time. It was. I'll take it. Right? <laughs> Eye candy. Everything. We had a lot of dresses that were kind of controversial. People had split opinions on them mm -hmm. and some, some kind of clear winners as well. Let's begin with one of those kind of controversial dresses and one of the big winners. So we're talking about Anne Hathaway. Yes. What do you all mm. think? You know, I was underwhelmed. I feel like Anne is always nailing it and I was expecting a little bit more from her this season yeah yeah I, I heard that she changed dresses is that right uh, does anybody know why she changed I heard her saying that it was a last-minute choice That's right. that it was made for her and she picked it that day and she seemed to love it. You loved her makeup. I Don't loved me. her makeup. You know what? I loved her brows, and I always hone in right on the brows. <laughs> but that dress was underwhelming. We were talking in the green room. She was supposed to wear a Valentino, ah. and that was a last-minute decision, and I don't think it worked Oh, I out. wonder what the Valentino dress looked <laughs> yeah, like. Right, I'm wondering what it looked like. Well, for me, it was the bottom that didn't do it for me. It was just kind of shapeless, and I don't know. And the pale pink, I think, is totally a takeoff of Gwyneth Paltrow, and I think Jennifer Lawrence did the same thing. Uh. Yeah, I think pale pink was, a, is, was definitely trending. I think for me, me, it was just all wrong. I, I love Prada and mm -hmm. I love that she went for Prada, but t it was too stiff. It was really simple. It kind of noted Taylor Swift's um, dress from the Golden Globes. Oh, yes. oh yeah. It was a little like an apron, wasn't it? If you just yeah. I heard that. Well, That's well, what I kept course, thinking. The top got and the plenty jarts of, oh. on the side. Yeah, yeah it got was, plenty of commentary yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, sure did. Yeah, it that sure was did. Very commented she could have done certainly. better. <laughs> All right, well, let's stick with the pale pink and mm -hmm. one of the winners again, Jennifer Lawrence. I know mm -hmm. you particularly had an issue with the bottom, Janice. Well, I thought she looks gorgeous all the time. Like, she's beautiful and she has Absolutely. the greatest figure. Mm -hmm. She could wear anything. I just thought the dress itself, there was just a lot of fabric going on at the bottom. And of course, she tripped on stage, you yeah. know, unfortunately. Oh, she played it off really well, though. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, but it, it's a beautiful dress. I just, it's just a lot going on there. To me, I'm, I, I'm all for volume. Mm -hmm. What bothered me was right around her hips, it looks like it, sh it she said that she tried it on that day. Oh. And it could have been fitted just a little bit more because it started that volume in a kind of awkward place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her hair looks beautiful. She I looks guess. stunning, you know, though. Talking about the makeup, too. <laughs> definitely. You had I mean, the for eyebrows. Her, <laughs> she's definitely rocking the Oscars 2013 look. It was kind of that hair, that loose chignon, that natural makeup. She did look beautiful. I have to say, and everyone gets down on me for it because we all love Jennifer Lawrence, including <laughs> myself, but her eyebrows aren't perfect. They're a little flat mm -hmm. and they just need a touch more arch. It's a, it's a small detail, but as you know, they're super, super impactful. She better call you next time. She yeah, better. Well, hey, it's head to toe. It's head to toe on that right. carpet. Let's keep it moving and okay. check in with Kerry Washington. A lot of people love her style, and people were mixed on this dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, it was one of my best dressed. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was different than what we were seeing. It, it is a trended strapless dress, but the color, I love that gem thing happening. Mm -hmm. I think it's too long, mm -hmm. a little too oh, long. Oh, yeah, sure is. Right. But I think all in all, she did something that nobody else did, and I thought that was refreshing. What do you think of her? You know, you? you know, I think from head to toe, she's an original. I think that was refreshing. We were seeing a lot of the same stuff go down the carpet, mm -hmm. and I think that she was this exclamation point on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. Her hair down was one of the girls that it worked for me. It didn't work for me with Kristen Stewart. Yeah. It didn't work for me with everyone else. And a nice, thick brow, which you know I love. <laughs> <laughs> so she gets my Oscar. Yeah, I okay. thought she was okay. I think a lot of people love Charlize. We have that to That was about my her. She really did look gorgeous. She was stunning. I don't even Amazing. know if there's much to say. Can she ever look bad? <laughs> Except that we want to keep looking at it. You know, the only thing that I would say is I feel like it's very reminiscent of Ava Mendez's dress a couple years ago. Oh. And I feel like to go with something that we've maybe seen a little bit before, she's so statuesque and that hair is like to die. Yes. 
even if it was just a different color, I, I would have been oh, more been into it. would interesting in a different color, I think. Yeah. I think it would have been interesting in a different color, mm -hmm. too. I think that she kind of made jaws drop, which mm -hmm. was great. She's better for me as a blonde. A lot of the makeup we were seeing was kind of natural and luminescent. Not everyone hit the mark. Some people, it was simply underwhelming. Mm -hmm. She did it right. She had a perfect brow for that short hair. Ah. And I think that she's just a beautiful woman. And she looked confident. She looked like she mm -hmm. owned oh, that but, Yes, you're, you're right. Look at her walk yeah. in there. It was oh, just she stunning. Knows she looks amazing. <laughs> she and knows another it. just gorgeous, gorgeous girl. We go from one to the other. Halle Berry. Um, yes. The dress, some people like. Some people thought it was a little too dynasty. No, I don't, I don't know. know. I, I don't know. I kind of liked it. I, I liked it. That's I kind of liked it, too. <laughs> it's a modern too. dynasty. Mm -hmm. And I think there's something else that's dynasty that was not very modern. And Halle Berry, I feel like it rocked. Wow. Especially considering what she has done been doing this season. <laughs> this really, to, to finish on a good note like this was awesome. I, I think agree. your other dynasty is Jane Fonda, which Ooh. we're going oh, out of order. That, that was true but dynasty. That was, that, was, that was rough. We'll get to that if, if we have time. There, oh, there, is, she, there is. she is. There she is. Oh, man. <laughs> so power suit. Power Some people suit. are saying she looked great. I agree with you, you know, guys. You know, my mom liked it, but I feel like, I feel like for to be an older woman going to the Oscars, it's challenging. You don't really know how to do it. Even if that was a different color, I would have mm. been more into it. Can we, we talk we about the, one the, the guys for, for a second? Oh, fine. They're, they're so much less fun. <laughs> we can I talk know, about know, the guys. We can always talk about the guys. They were rocking your look. This beard thing was yeah, all over the place. Yeah, those scruff. <laughs> yeah, they all follow what I do. I can't <laughs> help it, so. We have to get to my favorite just Who's because that? Stacey Keebler. I thought she, I love oh, that looks dress. Stunning. She's Naeem Khan. She was my favorite. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, and she's got such a killer body. She can pull off anything, but tonight I think she really nailed it yeah all right and two other quick favorites there she is it's gorgeous it really did look gorgeous <laughs> we just quickly jennifer aniston for me eh. Uh, at least red? it's not black. Yeah, there yeah. You at least that's it's not I black, right? Yeah, but she was doing the red Valentino dress, and it was the red Valentino dress. But you know, I could have seen a little bit more from her. And I said, you know, her hair from the head up, she looks like Rachel Green, bottom yeah, down. A little messy. You know, well, we have yeah. Few seconds. We have to go. I wish we had more time. I know, me too. Thanks, Thanks for joining us, and thank, thank you, you for joining us. Have a Thanks great night. <laughs>